as far as caring for my wound, what I've been doing is um, with my C-section with my daughter five years ago, you know, I had the experience that where, you know, I probably a few days after, you know, I got in the shower or whatever, and then my infection, my um, C-section um, got infected. And so it started, like, literally had to go get it drained at the surgeon's office because it was, like, pus and everything coming out. It was really gross. Um, but this time I'm definitely being more careful because I know my skin and I know how my skin reacts. And my skin does have a tendency to heal really fast. I think in my family overall, like, we, we have really fast healing skin. So my skin does hit heal really fast. The problem is, is that, like, I can't really, like, immerse it in water or anything, which that's going to be, that's common sense, I think, you know, because bacteria will build up and stuff like that. And even if I pat dry which you know they recommend if you take a shower just pat dry like that water once it gets in for me it like immediately like my body like it starts like the bacteria starts to attract or whatever and to avoid any infections for me what I've been doing is um I haven't taken a shower but I've been sponge bathing so I've been like you know washing my face sponging my body off you know getting good at my private parts getting good and not touching my stomach like I'll wipe the top of my stomach but not anywhere near the wounds not anywhere near the drains um and you know and when I change my drains of course I use you know antibacterial soap and stuff like that but I'm very particular about that because I don't want to have um I don't I don't have like um I don't kill keloid so I don't want to you know start because your skin can change you never know so I don't keloid my scars usually heal just really flat so I don't want to get any keloids or anything like that so I'm just really you know taking care of it keeping it covered changing the dressing as um needed and that's pretty much it and you know keeping it clean that way and not exposing it to air or anything like that so I keep my binder on all day I know some people take their binders off um, after a while but I literally keep my binder on I'll put my Spanx tank top on then I'll put the binder on and it literally stays on all day um that's just the results I want I want a really flat you know I know it's kind of not really super flat but I want a flat stomach and you know wearing a binder um I think it says in my notes that I'm supposed to keep the binder on for three weeks but I'll definitely go get a new binder as well and um, I have a few more Spanx garments that I have too, but I'm definitely going to keep the Spanx on and, you know, ref use those pretty regularly so I can keep my, maintain my results. Um, so that's that. Um, sorry, I know this video is 20 minutes long, so thank goodness I showed you guys like the, the results at the beginning so you guys could get to that part if that's all you wanted to see. But, um. You know, as far as stomach tightness, when I do wake up in the morning, kind of similar to with the lap band at first, um, I have tightness. Like, still lap band, even with my lap band in the morning, I'm, I'm really tight. Like, I, I drink, I have to drink usually first. Um, but my t stomach gets really tight. The muscles are really tight in the morning when I wake up. So, I literally, like, have to roll out of the bed. Like, I can't just, like, push myself up gently. I have to literally, like roll um but my stomach is like super super tight in the morning it's ridiculous um but you definitely can feel it so those are some of the things that i've experienced please let me know if you have any questions i'm going to try to post more videos um and thanks youtube i'm so glad to be back and hopefully i can make more videos it it took it's like once you stop making videos it's kind of like um you know, I watch so many people and I follow so many people's videos and I admire so many people because I love fashion and beauty and, you know, art and things like that. And that's the direction that I want to go into. But um, it's like I, you know, you stop making videos and then it's like I've had the time to make the video. I have, honestly. I've honestly, so I won't say I haven't had the time. I've honestly, in the past maybe two months, I've had time to make videos. And I think I've just been so self-consciously sabotaging myself like nervous like okay well what if the video nobody watches the video or what if nobody none of my subscribers are my subscribers anymore or none of my fans are my fans anymore but I, you know YouTube is a family and you know I just for all of you guys that have been sticking through and you know sending me emails because I've gone through some of my emails and you're like hello where are you um we haven't had a video update or anything from you i am back and i'm going to do updates and i'm updating my channel and i want to do you know some fashion reviews and makeup reviews and things like that as well so i'm really excited of course you know i'll be talking about my dating life um but i'm really excited to be back and i'm love you youtube family Mwah.